Hey, what's up, y'all? Just wanted to check in here and uh, make this video. Uh, this is three days after my birthday, so February 18th. And um, I did this last year when I uh, turned 22. And I wanted to do this video for when I turned 23. So these are just some things that I learned uh, th over the course of this year. And I really think that this year from 22 to 23 was it, it, like I grew the most definitely from uh, this year. And uh, let's just get started because... I don't want to get this video to be super long. So the first thing is, you know, despite like some setbacks, um, I got COVID in July um, and it really took an effect on me that I didn't think it was going to do. I have a cr chronic chest tightness from it I um, that I have to deal with all the time. I have, you know, like I, I had my my stomach issues, um, where I needed to have that like colonoscopy procedure. Um, and it was all stemmed from this. Um, I have like floaters in my eyes. Um, so yeah, things like that, just the unknown really just, you kind of just have to like play the cards you're dealt and you can't really like complain about it. And that was a really big thing for me over the course of this last year. Um, since the chest tightness, for example, like literally is every single day and I have to just deal with it. And you know what I mean? Can't really do anything about it. Um, another thing is just taking on new challenges, trying new things. I always love to try new things, whether it's, you know, trying a new sport or, um, you know, uh, writing in a journal or, um, uh, trying, just trying different things. That's all I'm just trying to say. Uh, try to like go out of your comfort zone, talk to new people. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. Uh, just try to work hard, get 1% better every day. That's what I tried to do. Um, from 22 to 23 and despite all those things that I was mentioning earlier you know I wasn't really trying to complain about it even though I did but you know at the end of the day you know what are you gonna do about it are you just gonna sit there and like cry about it and you know baby yourself or are you gonna you know still do the things that you love to do and try your absolute best when you wake up in the morning and you know even though your body might be hurting which it was for a while um you know I've gotten really in touch with my body and like figured out like I don't know I just I feel one with my body now I don't know like it's I've just learned a lot of things just going through all these processes and tests and all these things trying to figure out all these things. I said things like a million times in that sentence, but I really have just learned a lot more. That's just what it is. And I really think there's like a beauty in learning and finding out new, new, new areas and, um, you know, things that you might not have known about. Um, Another thing is kind of goes off of what I said earlier was just embracing the unknown. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You don't know how a cold is going to affect you. You don't know how COVID is going to affect you. Anything. You don't know how anything is going to affect you. And I just really think that learning to deal with, you know, the what you got and being able to focus on what you need to get done is really powerful. Um, really when I, and when I also say like embracing the unknown, it's just like, 
also with like my dad's situation when he had like gotten diagnosed with his disease I really didn't know what I was gonna like do like I, I didn't know like how like my I was gonna go about like my daily life or like you know just like the situation and it sort of needed to like reconcile in my head that you know there's nothing that I can like there's like there's no cure or anything like that it's sort of just you help as much as you possibly can and you know that's the best you can do and that's something that really took me a while to just understand and get through my head it seems like a pretty basic concept but you kind of feel a little helpless when at the end of the day you're thinking like wow like you know he's never going to be the same again or wow like this is all that I can really do you know what I mean um so that was just one of the things is that you know just embrace like the cards you're dealt and just really try your hardest you know at whatever area you're um struggling in or whatever like that you know what I mean um another thing was just you know running more it's pretty it's pretty meditative for me um I I have to say so myself I do have like always like something going on medically I don't know why but you know whether it's like my wrist you know all these different things and my hip so yeah I have to go in for testing for my hip as well yeah like I'm not even I think it's called like a fluoroscopy or something like that I'm not even looking forward to it and I've been dealing with it for over like eight months now and I didn't really want to get get it checked out but I think I might have to but yeah I've just been running you know lifting weights doing something that I haven't even even really done you know what I mean just trying new things I started out with like lifting like seven pound dumbbells you know what I mean um and to be honest I don't really care that people were looking at me in the gym you know what I mean like dude like look at this guy he's like he's like he's he's lifting seven pounds like you know what I mean I don't really care it's just a matter of a matter of getting better one percent each day and just focusing on yourself better like bettering yourself and um yeah that was like a big big theme for me over the course of 22 to 23 um you know try to uplift others and give people compliments and put a smile on your face even though it might be tough you know what I mean but you know maybe if someone sees a smile on your face um it brings a little joy to their day you know what I mean makes them want to smile and you know that can go a lot of ways you know what I mean that can go a big way um for the other person and really talk to other people and you know you know empathize with them or you know be friendly be kind you know what I mean um that's not something I learned that was just something that like is just I feel that like more people as I'm just like looking around I feel like just more people need to do to be honest with you is just like be more kind or like you know uh be helpful and like I don't know you know what I mean I feel like a lot of people nowadays just like are not nice all the time you know what I mean or like not um like willing to go the extra mile you know for someone else um, so I think that's just like really big is just, you know, helping another person out or um, giving someone some advice. So that's something big, um, you know, uh, compliment others, even though you might not receive it back. This kind of goes along with like the same theme that I was talking about, you know, just compliment others, uplift others, be nice, um, spread positivity kind of you know what I was kind of talking about and I also truly believe that like over the course of like this amount of growth you know um you meet a lot of new people you know um and you know in many different places you know what I mean you don't really know you know just new people come into your life and you know that's truly a blessing and you know 
that's just amazing, to be honest with you. Um, meeting new people and just other friendly faces and people. And um, I think that's really a good thing. Um, and lastly, uh, you know, I, I was just talking about like, uh, playing like the cards you're dealt and things like that. But the specific quote that I wanted to talk about was, you know, it's not about the cards you're dealt, but how you play the hand, um, by Randy Pausch. And I think it's a very powerful quote because like I said earlier, it's not about the cards you're dealt. It's about how you play it and how you want to react to the things that happen and um that's just something i learned over the course of 22 to 23 it's the biggest thing um not feeling sorry for yourself and um you know, bettering yourself even though you know i was dealing with chest tightness and i still am or you know my hip is hurting it doesn't really matter you know what i mean um just trying to get better each day and uh yeah guys hopefully everyone is having a great day I'm recording this on the 18th of February, and hopefully I get it up to y'all by Sunday the 19th. So yeah, four days later, um, yeah, this was like literally supposed to be like on my B-day, but it didn't happen. So, you know, I'm getting, getting this one out later, and uh, hopefully all of you are having a great day and, um, you know, spreading positivity. Okay, peace, guys.